Hey everyone, today we'll learn how to add Give OAuth in our Next.js app using Superbase. In the previous video, we have learned how to add Google OAuth, how Pixie Flow works and much more stuff. Today we will do the same thing but for GitHub. So to do that, you need to first create a GitHub OAuth app. So you need to go to github.com, then click on your profile icon, then settings, and if you scroll down, you will go to developer settings, then OAuth apps, and then create a new OAuth app. Now give your application a name. I'm gonna call it Superbase OAuth YT, and the homepage URL will be localhost 3000. Uh, I don't need application description. For the callback URL, you need to go to the Superbase dashboard, then go to authentication, uh, then providers, search GitHub. Here it is, enable it, copy this callback URL, paste it here, leave this box unchecked and register application. This is your client ID and you need to create a client secret ID. So I'm going to copy this secret ID and go to the dashboard and paste it here and also the client ID. And that should be it, save it. Now we can go to our repo and create our server action. So go to the actions file and we will use this same sign in with function to create a new function for GitHub. So call sign in with GitHub. And just to recap this function, it's simple. It's just basically creating a server client and then it has this callback URL which is basically referring to the slash auth slash callback API route. And then it is calling the sign in with OAuth function, passing the provider and the provider will be GitHub here and redirect to option will be this auth callback URL. And if any error happens, we will console log it. Otherwise we will redirect the user to this data dot URL, which is actually coming from the response. Now let's just export it. Go to the paste.js file. Sorry, not paste.js, auth form file. Now we can copy this. And just replace this with GitHub. And this will be sign in with GitHub. Let's run the server. I will sign out. And let's click on sign in. Uh, we have two buttons side by side, so let's fix that. I will add this class name to the form tag and remove these tips. I don't need this. And now it is looking good. Let's sign in with GitHub. Authorize. And now I am logged in on my home page, but you'll see that it says created with Google but I logged in with GitHub. So what's happening here? If I open up the console and we have this log, we have this user and here we have identities array. Previously it had only one item in the array. And if I expand one of this object, it says provider Google. And if I expand the another one, now the provider is GitHub. So basically, the email from Google and the email I used to create that GitHub account are actually same. So that's why we have only one account with two providers added. If I go to the Superbase dashboard and users, if you select the user and scroll down, you see that we have two providers instead of one. And since I created the account with Google first, that's why you see created with Google. So that's it for today. If you don't understand anything, I would highly recommend watch the previous video, the Google OAuth video to get a better understanding. In the next video, we will learn how to create an account with email and password, how to set up an SMTP server and so on. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.